with the long lady Catherine Coulson. Thanks for joining us today. It's a pleasure. And we are here at the Twin Peaks uh, Festival. Right now we're in Issaquah at the Holiday Inn, and uh, you came to the one last year. How do you like doing these things? Well, it's just a treat to meet the people who like Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks fans are by far the nicest people I've ever known. And it's really true. And this time I brought the log back to be closer to its roots. It seems to be very happy. It's been in a bank vault. So in fact, I think the log is thrilled as well. Although if I may speak for the log, I would say that. Um, the difference between last year and this year is that this is more intimate, which I'm enjoying. Last year we premiered Twin Peaks Firewalk with me and uh, there was a lot of press here. So this is nice because it's a chance to really connect with the fans, and I'm enjoying that a lot. Unfortunately, my nephew chose tomorrow to get married, so I can only be here today. So we're gonna make this be as full a day as we possibly can and meet as many people as we can. Now, you were mentioning this is one of the actual logs from the this TV show. This is the log. There's only one log, one time, they took a fake log to the Phil Donahue show, and it really pissed them off. But uh, other than that, it's just been the same log. This is it. This is the log. It's gotten a lot lighter since I last uh, touched it. And in fact, since when we first got it, which it was really heavy because it was oozing sap, and my arms were aching by the time we finished the pilot. But now it's, it's quite a bit lighter. I don't know how how heavy do you think it is? Careful there. Ten? Ten pounds, maybe? Yeah, I would say it's probably about 30 at one time. Do you get a good workout carrying this thing around? Well, yeah, I think it's kept my breasts for sag. I mean, why not call a spade a spade, so to speak? Sure. Um, How did you come to be the long lady on the TV show? Did David Lynch handpick you, or did you audition hand for the show? Me. No, I met David Lynch doing Eraserhead in 1972. Uh, that was his first film, is that correct? It was his first full-length film. He had done two other films called The Alphabet and The Grand. But I met David because I was teaching a, a directing workshop. Of, actually, it was an acting workshop for directors at the American Film Institute in the early 70s, where David was a student. And he cast me and Jack Nance and a couple of other people in his studio for the producer guys. And during the making of that film, David said, you know, someday I'd like to do a TV show with you. And I want to call it, I'll test my log with every branch of knowledge, and you're going to be the log lady, a log girl. And you're going to have a piece of wood, and you're going to take this wood around to all these experts and get their opinion of the log, of the wood, like a neurologist who would learn about the neuropathy or the, 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 not, the neurology of a log, and then the, you would also learn about the neurologist or a dentist. You know, maybe it would wear a little white, one of those little white things. So the whole idea was really conceived of in the 70s. Then we all went on to do other things, and we've stayed friends all these years. And he called me up and said, about 1989, uh, are you ready? So I said, yes, but not knowing what I was saying yes to. And he said, to do the laws, maybe. So I, they flew me to Seattle, and they were shooting the pilot, and David sort of snuck me in because he didn't think the network would really get it. <laughs> so, and then the long the following that it does now, even after the cancellation of the movie? Mm, I think we caught on to it about midway through the first season that this was a big deal. You know, that people, I didn't know how long it would last. And now it seems to be regenerating because uh, the Bravo Network has been rebroadcasting it with these new introductions. In fact, you host those introductions. I, in fact, host them. I call myself Alistair Cook with a log because I, I feel like I take people on this journey of the subtext or the soul of Twin Peaks. David wrote and directed these introductions in such a way that I think they really speak for what he wanted the show to say. So it's been wonderful to see it again. What have you got coming up? Uh, the next thing, I just finished a run of Neil Simon's Rumors at San Jose Repertory Theater, which was really fun. And I'm doing, I just finished a movie that will be on PBS in a series called The Family Series. It's called The Secret Life of Houses. 
It's directed by a Romanian filmmaker. It, it reminds me a little bit of early David Lynch. And uh, Shirley Knight and Laurie Metcalf and myself star in it. And I play a very, very mean nurse. And it's, it's a very... ...himself in the world um, in, a, in a very um, particular way. And that's the, the Jimmy Stewart that people see. The, uh, uh, gosh, isn't it? Uh, it's a very big one. Can you see me on the Dance with me. Therapy and that Johnny could come back. 
And of course, what they alluded to in the program is that he knew who the murderer of Laura was. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, there was a scene with Audrey, and Audrey came and she was mad at me. I would call her a bitch and all kinds of things. <laughs> this did not get in, you know, played. And then there was some, you know, Johnny was there, and then Dr. Jacoby said that he would work with him and maybe he could reveal, you know, really what happened. And of course, that did never got played, and the story went in another direction. David went off to do a movie, and with David gone, I, everybody forgot about me up here in Bellevue. <laughs> and then the next thing I knew is that they had called me back for the final one, and David says, where have you been? You know, like for the grave, the art scene, the funeral, and for the bathing suit contest, and all kinds of things taking care of Sherilyn. Sherilyn Fenn, and I said, I don't know, no one ever called me. And so uh, I went to the last of the pilot, and I didn't have any lines. And he says, don't worry, Jan, I just want you here, and we'll think of something for you to do. And so that's sort of the way it, it went lots of times when they were filming. I'm sure that um, um, the others will, will testify to that. So that's what happened, and they put me in the end. But I'm sorry I was forgotten, because I thought that, she, uh, that my character should have been in there a little bit more. <laughs>